My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. At this moment, I just come on here to tell you all just thing or two I thought about lately and you probably even just kind of notice how tired I look and if you know that I work in a school cafeteria you know that it's getting closer to the end of the year and with the way things can kind of be towards the end of the year you know you can just get a little kind of tired and kind of exhausted because you and your co-workers have so much to deal with but there was just one little thing that I wanted to share, and it's kind of this thing where, you know, in some ways I just kind of have it made in life compared to some people, and it just could very well be, you know, because of disability, special needs, realities I have to accept, things like that, and I just know that the thing of it is, is that that's kind of among things, I mean, as to how I get my time to work on art and be busy about it and try to get into getting a business going and things like that and how I really try to work about it. And I do also just want to say that there's a lot of things I'm trying hard and working on and it was even among those things where, you know, among the things I tell people when they kind of look at my tables full of artwork and the reason I put all that out there on the table is because I want people to have more to choose from. It's not to show what I can do, not to, you know, show how busy I've been or how much I can make in what amount of time, but I put it out there because, you know, I have more stuff and, you know, want to give people more options and, just kind of want people to know how much is available for them to buy and kind of the reason I put it all out there. But I will say that people come out there, they look at all the stuff I put out and they say, you've been busy. I'd say the same might have even been true about some stuff that I shared in Messenger as of lately with all the pictures of all the dogs I've been working on and all the Christmas tree ornaments and things and just the kind of thing where, you know, sometimes it's like I kind of tend to want to tell people that it kind of gets to be just because I have realities to accept because it's like, you know, I just can't be busy with what most people are busy with and I believe that Everybody in life is busy in some way. We just all kind of have our own ways of being busy. There's quite a, a limit as to what I'm capable of doing compared to what most people are or even what I won't stress myself out doing compared to what most people won't. And that's where it comes down to where... You know, I just kind of get busy with the things I love to do. I just kind of have the types of parents who told me ever since I was a teenager, I'd always be welcome to live under their roof. And if I ever had to move out, I'd always be welcome to come back if for any reason I must. And the thing of it is, is that I've always been happy at home. I mean, I you know, it's like I've never really had any reason to move out on my own. And I mean, I've been happy with this bedroom I have in their basement. So that's kind of the reason why I stay with them like I do. And that's just one of those things where even when it comes to the things that would be more stressful for me to do if I had to live on my own, it would kind of come to the point where 
it would be harder to do. And, you know, the way I kind of keep myself busy in life is by keeping my hands busy, making crafts, carving wood and things like that. And it, there was even a conversation I had with my mother fairly recently where I was kind of telling her about some of the things I might say when people look at all the stuff on my table and, you know, and then she was just kind of saying, saying to, to, to me like, okay. And, you know, and somewhere in there, she just said, well, I just hope you're not becoming too proud because you're becoming successful. And, you know, it's like, it's because she cares, you know, if I became too proud, I could say something that could make somebody uncomfortable or be drawing attention to myself. And, the kinds of things that I really try my best not to say. And there's been times in my life, even since then, that I have sometimes prayed to God and even said, said Lord, if I'm becoming any proud because I'm becoming successful, I, I said, Lord, I said, help me not to be. And I think that that prayer has kind of helped because you know, of all when I was of all the things I've been showing in pictures on Messenger, I had a friend respond to me today just saying, I don't see how you do it. And I mean, and I kind of replied to her just kind of saying, well, you know, I mean, I could kind of tell you a little as to how I do it, but would just be afraid it would be too prideful of me to say it. I said, you know, I probably do it because it's what I love to do. And, you know, we're all just kind of capable of different things. We all just have different accommodations we need in life to different degrees and in different ways, you know. There's always the chance that, you know, if I didn't have the kind of care that I have in my home, I could probably be living in a Section 8 apartment or something like that. So, you know, and, and probably not have any room for all my tools or not be living in any kind of space that I could take my tools into. And I mean, you know, and I just kind of stay busy with life because I just believe that God has a plan for each of us. And with each one of us, you know, he uses our own circumstance to do it. Probably been a lot of things I would have liked to be in life, but they just weren't the things I was gifted to do. And there are just some things in life where, I, where they also say that God doesn't qual call the qualified, but qualifies the called. And I just believe that there's been different callings he's given to each of us. It was never my dream, even in my younger years, that as I got older, that I would be doing a business and doing a lot of art and carving. There were probably a lot of things that I thought in my younger years I'd be doing by now and probably turned out to be the things that just weren't his will or weren't his call for my life or weren't what he chose for me. He had a, a better plan for me than I had for myself. And, you know, that's the way it is with each of us, you know, and you might be young, you might have some idea where you're going to be in 15 or 20 years from now, but you don't know that. I mean, God did not tell me 20 years ago where I'd be today. And so I just also want to say that this is just another one of those things where, you know, faith gets stronger and you just learn how to kind of pray and ask for help. So I just want to also say that I try my best not to get too proud. I'm hoping I'm not getting too proud and my mother hopes so too. And I'd say for all things that if, if there's any more to be said in the future, I just hope you all will always stay tuned and just know that there's a lot of reason why I do what I do and it kind of differs from one to the next and your gifts or talents may not be the exact same as mine, but you have them. I assure you, you do. You're good for something. You're meant for something. God has a purpose for you on the earth as well. Whoever you are, whatever your gifts are, there is a purpose in using them for his kingdom and his glory. And that is one thing that I come to say to you at this time concerning all the work that you might have to do in the ministry for the rest of your life. So thank you very much and stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.